Canva is a game-changing free design tool that allows you to simply create any kind of graphics you can think of. Now Canva is ideal for beginners and experts and has completely disrupted the design industry, making this one of the most important tools for any small business. Hey team, I'm excited you could join me today and for those that are new here, my name's Stuart and I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Now in this Canva tutorial for beginners, I'm going to help you get started with Canva and show you how to make the most of all the powerful tools and features Canva has to offer. Okay, so just before we dive right into this tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online in 2021. And with that quick note, let's go ahead and launch straight into canva.com. <music> Okay, so here we are at Canva's website. Now, if you want to follow this tutorial step by step, then feel free to click the link in our description below, and that's going to take you to Canva. Now, I do need to mention this is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan through this link, we will get a small commission, and this just helps us support this channel and continue to provide high quality educational content to all our audience. So thank you in advance. Alternatively, you can just type in canva.com and that will take you to this website. Now, first things first, before we dive into all the templates, tools and features within Canva, we do need to sign up to a free plan. And today we're just gonna cover the free plan because this is sufficient enough for small businesses and small teams. However, you do have the opportunity at any time to upgrade to a paid plan and there are a lot of advantages of using the paid plan but today we're just going to focus on Canva's amazing free plan. So first things first let's go ahead and sign up, navigate up to sign up and go ahead and sign up with either Google, Facebook or add your email address and create an account and what I will do because I already have an account is I'll meet you at the dashboard. So go ahead and sign up and we will see you at the Canva dashboard. Okay, so once you've signed up and created a free account with Canva, you will arrive at your Canva dashboard. Now the first thing you'll notice in your Canva dashboard is all these templates to choose from. Now the best thing about Canva is they offer thousands of pre-made templates that you can choose, build and customize the way that you like. So for example, if you wanted to create a poster, what you could do is navigate up to the search bar and type in poster. So if we're looking for a poster and we type in poster within the search bar, you will notice a whole bunch of suggestions and you can select one that works for you based on your requirements and you can start building off pre-made templates and we'll show you this shortly. So again, if we navigate down here, you can see that we have recommended poster, infographic, presentation, resume, logo, flyer, and we have more across here. Now we can also navigate under these categories up here. So for example, if I click on social media, you will see a whole bunch of social media templates that we can choose from. We can also select events, marketing, and again, you can see all these different templates that we can choose to build from. Again, this is one of the primary reasons why Canva stands out from other design tools. So you have access to thousands of pre-made templates and you can navigate down your dashboard. And again, you can see Instagram posts over here. You can navigate through those if you like. Posters, Facebook posts, logos. There are thousands of pre-made templates based on what you want to design. Now, pre-made templates that Canva has to offer essentially allows you to quickly and easily create your own designs because you can simply take these professional templates that have already been built and you can see how these professional templates are made and then you can customize them the way that you like. So templates are extremely powerful. And today what we're going to do is show you how to build from a template. Now, if you want to build from scratch, so you want to create your own design without building from a template, what you can do is navigate over to custom size. When you click on custom size, you can come down to width and height and type in the dimensions of the design that you want to create. Now you can select this in pixels or you have other measurements in here. So I'm going to leave that as pixels. For example, if I was creating a social media post, I would go 1000 and height 1000 pixels and those would be my dimensions. And then I could just come down here and simply click create new design. 
Alternatively, you can navigate up to create a design and then come down and click custom size. However, to keep things simple, what we're going to do is select a pre-made template to show you all the features and tools within Canva. So if we come down here and navigate through some of these pre-made templates, I'm going to select Facebook posts because Facebook posts, nearly everyone has a Facebook business page and they produce content on social media. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how all the different tools and features work within the design interface by customizing a Facebook post. So if I navigate across here and select see all, I can see all the different Facebook post templates. And as you can see, Canva has over 2,000 templates under Facebook posts. So we're going to go ahead and select one of these. I like the look of this one up here, so I'm going to select this Facebook post here. And just like that, we now have a template that we can start customizing with all the different features and elements within Canva. So let's go ahead and start customizing this template. Firstly, on the left hand side, we have all the design tools, features and elements that you can use to customize your template or your new design. And I'm going to jump into this shortly. Then on the right hand side, we have this visual design interface. And this is what I'm going to guide you through first before we dive into the elements on the left hand side. So firstly, over here, you can see that our template, our Facebook post template is made up of four images. Then we have this block element in the middle and within the block element we have text element you can see that we have a formatting bar that appears at the top now as you can see this formatting bar has very basic formatting options as you can see we can change the font type over here if we like now we can't use these crown icons because those are only for the paid version of canva if you decide to upgrade however those that don't have the crown icon simply select the font that you want to choose then up here we have other simple options like changing the color of the text we can change the size and then we have other simple options here we can add a list we can change the spacing between the letters and the line height then we have a fix over here if we want to add a fix so for example if I want to add this lift you can see that there is this dark background behind the text this shadow like effect and then you can play around with any of these effects if you like then these three dot icons you can click here and you can underline you can actually make your text transparent if you like you can copy this style and then you can lock it in place for if you're creating different layers then you can also go ahead and duplicate this text element if you like now i can also come down here and i can change this text if i like so for example i can start typing i can start typing anything i like i can delete this word if i like but i'm going to keep that as it is for now i can also do the same with the text up here I can change that but i'll leave it as it is now i can also drag this text to make it larger rather than using the options available up here and i can also rotate this text element block if i like now it's important to note that each of the elements within your design so for example at the moment we have a text element we have a block element here and we have image elements over here now each element will have different formatting options available so for example if i select this image here you can see that we have these formatting options so we can change the color we have effects filter adjust options crop and we also have flip so we can flip the image if we like and then we have spacing for the grid spacing we also have the option to change the position of each element so you could bring it to the front each element is structured in layers so if i wanted this at the very front i could go forward 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 and as you can see all these images are now at the front of my design but i'm going to go back to how it was again if i select this block element here i have the option to change the color i can crop the block or I can flip it so not too many options with this simple block element now each of these elements you can also select and you can drag those elements around the design so again the text element I could drag this around the design if I like but I'm happy with the way everything is at the moment okay so we've covered how the design interface works and how you can select each element and customize it based on the formatting options available for each element now within this design interface you can also add another page if you like so for example if I come down here to add page I can select add page and that's going to create a second page again I could add a third page if I like 
And as you can see, I now have three pages to customize. And these two pages are blank, as you can see. However, I can also navigate up here and I can duplicate this existing design. So if I click duplicate page, you can see that that creates a duplicate of my previous design and I can customize this slightly different to my previous design and decide on which design best works for me. Now I can also go ahead and delete each page if I like. So I can come down here and delete this third page. I can also add notes and I can move this page. So for example, I can move it up above my current design, which is now page two and page one is a blank design. Again, like I said, I can go ahead and leave a comment if I like. Now, this is if you're working with a team and they're part of your Canva account, then you can engage and collaborate with your team. So if I cancel out of that one, now if I come down to page two and the first design we started working on, I also want to show you these elements down here. So I have the option to zoom in and view in a grid view, and I can also expand to a full screen. Okay, so now that I've showed you all the essentials and how to make the most of the design interface on the right hand side, now what I want to do is head over to the left hand side where we have all the tools, elements and features to actually further create and customize our designs. Okay, so firstly at the top left you can see that we have templates selected and these are templates that we can use under Facebook posts for our design and as you can see we've already got a template selected and we've showed you how to customize this template. Now you can also navigate through these other templates and you can add them here. If you select any of these templates what that's going to do is replace this template we have here. So if you want to add another template what you would do is come down to add page, add another page then select the template that you want to customize. For example, if I selected this template, I can now start customizing this template as well as the template we had initially. And you can also navigate up to the search bar and you can type in a keyword that's related to the type of content you want to create. For example, if you wanted animals in your pre-made templates, you could type in animals and Canva is going to display templates that have animals in them. Okay, so that's templates. Then if we navigate down to uploads, this is essentially where you can upload media to use in your design. So you can upload images, videos, or audio. Once you've uploaded those videos, images, or audios, so media, then you can basically use those in your content on the right hand side. You can simply click upload media, or you can drag files into this section here. Then you can simply use your own content within your designs. Then under uploads, we have photos. Now these are stock standard images that you can use within your content, free commercial license. So you can go ahead and add any of these images. For example, if I came down here and added, let's say a new page, I can go ahead and select any of these images and I can drag them so that they fit this entire social media template. Now you can also go ahead and drag each of these images to replace specific images. So for example, I could replace that image and I can also replace that image with the image I just selected. So it's just select, drag and drop. You can also go ahead and type in keywords that are related to the type of content you want to use. Then if we come down below photos, we have elements. Now elements are great. These are elements that you can add within your content. So again, for example, you can add a keyword based around what you want to add to your design. It could be arrows, it could be animals, whatever it is, type in the keyword up here, or you can navigate through all these different options available. So for example, if I typed in animals, and Canva will display all their animal elements that you can choose from. Now, if you see a crown next to any of these elements, then you cannot use them. So for example, if I click this element, you can see that there's a crown next to it. This is a paid element. So I have to pay to use this particular element. As you can see, there's a Canva watermark, so I can't use that. Now, if I delete that element and use a free element, like this one here, you can see that I can use this. There is no watermark on this element, so I'm happy with that. And again, you can drag and drop, and you can use the formatting options available up here like we discussed earlier. So I'm gonna delete that element, and then navigate down to text. And under text, you have access to hundreds of different text elements to choose from that you wanna to add to your designs. For example, if I like the look of this text element here, I can simply select it, 
And then again, I have formatting options available up here. I can also drag and drop if I like, and I can type to change the text. So for example, if I wanted to add my name, I can simply do that, drag that out so it fits, and then make that smaller, and I can drag that over here. So again, you can play around with all the different text elements if you like, have a look through them. You can also head up here and search the type of text that you want to use or use these standard text elements here. Then under text, we have music. Now Canva has evolved over the last few years. Initially, you could only customize and design image-based content, so basic static images and photos. However, now you can actually add videos and music to your content. So you can actually create short videos and add your own music or standard stock music. So Canva is no longer just a simple design tool. They have evolved into a multimedia creation and editing tool. So again, you can go ahead and search the type of music or audio that you want behind your images or videos, or you can upload your own. Then under music, again, we have videos. And under video, like I mentioned, you can go ahead and add video content to your designs now. So for example, if I wanted to add this video, I can drag this and I could place that in here. And as you can see, I now have a video rather than an image. Now I can also select that video and I have formatting options available up here. So I can trim the video if I like, I can crop, flip, and then spacing options. So as you can see, Canva is very powerful for creating multimedia content. Then under video, we have backgrounds. So basically you can add backgrounds to your images, to your content. Then we have folders. And folders is essentially where you can manage your content. Then under folders, we have more. And these are more advanced features that we're not gonna to cover too much in this tutorial, but basically you have access to apps and integrations with Canva. Okay, so now that we've covered the design interface here and we've covered the elements on the left hand side, what we're going to do now is actually download the piece of content that we're happy with. So once you're happy with the piece of content that you've created with Canva, what we can do now is go ahead and download it for free. Now to do that, all you need to do is simply navigate up to this download button here, click download and then come down and select the file type. So for us, we wanna download an image, so PNG, which is high quality image. You can also select JPEG if you like, or PDF standard. But we're gonna go ahead and select PNG, high quality image, because we wanna add this to social media. Remember, this is a Facebook post. And then down here, we have some paid options, which we're not gonna to talk too much about. And then down here, we have select pages. So you can download all four pages if you like, but for us, we just wanna download page two. So select page two, and then what we're gonna do now is come down and simply select download. And as you can see, after waiting a few moments, we have successfully downloaded this Facebook post. You can see the download down here. And just like that, guys, I'll exit out of that one and I'll click continue editing. You have created your first design with Canva, and hopefully now you've got an idea of how Canva works and how you can make the most of all the different elements that are available to you within Canva. It's a very easy design tool. It will take time before you're comfortable and confident with creating your own designs. So start building from templates, practice with multiple designs, and after a while you'll be confident with how Canva works and you'll be able to create stunning designs within minutes for your small business. And that is it team for today's comprehensive Canva guide. Now you should have complete confidence to create your own unique content with canva.com. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care guys.